we're going to listen to the doctor. Today, we're going to talk about the toxins that are lurking in your kitchen. And I'm not going to be talking about the obvious toxins like the chemicals and detergents and bleaches and cleaners and bug sprays, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to talk about those hidden toxins that you might not be thinking about. All right. Oh, that is brilliant, doctor. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Is your home a hidden health hazard? Many of us wouldn't suspect the everyday items lurking in our cabinets and under our sinks could be harming our well-being. In this eye-opening video, we'll be joined by Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and author of Eat to Beat Disease. Dr. Lee isn't just a medical expert, he's a champion for preventative health, focusing on how seemingly harmless things in our environment can impact our health. Today, Dr. Lee will be pulling back the curtain on surprising household toxins. We'll be uncovering hidden dangers in everyday items, from the seemingly innocent kitchen sponge to the air freshener masking unpleasant odors. Dr. Lee will explain how these toxins can potentially disrupt our hormones, damage our brains, and even contribute to chronic diseases. This video won't just scare you straight. Dr. Lee will also be offering practical solutions and healthier alternatives. So, get ready to transform your home into a haven of wellness. As a special bonus, we have included non-toxic cleaning tips throughout the video. Let's discover how to create a safe and healthy environment for you and your loved ones. Now, Dr. Lee will tell us about the first toxin we should be aware of. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Listen to the doctor, mama. The first one I'm going to talk about is the toxins in non-stick cookware. You know, the stuff that actually is really convenient for frying an egg uh, or cooking uh, food that might normally stick. So I'm not talking about Teflon. Teflon shouldn't be having Teflon, shouldn't even be able to buy Teflon. But even those non-stick pans um, actually can flake off if you scratch it. But those most non-stick surfaces contain PFAS. This stands for uh, per and polyfluoroalkyl substances. These are forever chemicals and they're really bad for the body. They're also bad for the environment. One scratch in a nonstick surface can release 9,000 PFAS, forever chemical particles. Uh, and, and that's something that you can, you can get into your food. So what's the solution to that? Rather than use a nonstick pan, use natural nonsticks. So cast iron that's properly seasoned uh, is a great nonstick surface or cook with stainless steel. That's what they use in restaurants. It's a great uh, surface uh, or use a copper pan. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Lee. As promised, here is the first non-toxic cleaner and all-purpose cleaner. Mix equal parts white vinegar and water in a spray bottle. Add a few drops of essential oil for fragrance if desired. Thanks for the tip. Now let's get Dr. Lee to tell us about another toxic item in many households. Dr. Lee, Another source of hidden toxins, uh, this one might not be in your kitchen, but just outside your kitchen, is the old charred grill, right? So think about it. We're, we're cooking uh, on the grill. Uh, we've got to serve the dinner. We might turn off the heat and we go away. Well, guess what? All that char just stays on there until the next time. It turns out that char on the grill, on the grate, actually contains polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines. All right, don't worry about spelling all those things, remembering all those things. Those are carcinogens. All right, those carcinogens will get onto the food the next time you're cooking on it, unless you clean those grates. I know it's really hard uh, to clean the grates each time the way that you want to. So what's the solution? The solution is to uh, deliberately clean, remember to clean your grill uh, after every single use, all right? And before each use, really scrub it clean, all right? Make sure you rinse off, rinse it off and get rid of all those uh, uh, char fragments that are carcinogens. Here's a natural oven cleaning tip. Sprinkle baking soda generously over the grill or oven floor and walls. Spray with water until damp and let sit overnight. Wipe clean the next day. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Now, Dr. Lee will tell us what's another source of toxins lurking in the kitchen. All right. So another hidden source of toxins in your kitchen are plastic containers. You know, the ones that actually have been sold plastic containers with a top so convenient for leftovers, so convenient for bringing your lunch the next day 
to work, right? Well, here's the thing. We now know that plastic sheds microplastics and nanoplastics. These are tiny, tiny little pieces of plastics into your food. And here's another one. What about the plastic cutting board, right? So easy to clean, uh, uh, and lightweight. Well, I can tell you that when you cut onto the uh, plastic cutting board, you're releasing microplastics right into the raw food uh, that you're actually cutting. And an Italian study recently showed that people with cardiovascular disease, they found 50% of those people, when they actually looked at the blockages in their blood vessels, had plastic, microplastics and nanoplastics studying, embedded inside the damaging plaques in their blood vessels. This means that uh, we're actually getting plastics from our food stuck into the diseased tissue in our blood vessels, the clogs for your heart, for your uh, uh, carotid arteries going to your brain, which is how they uh, discovered this. Some of it comes from food. They also think some of it might come from the air that we actually breathe. Nonetheless, plastic in your kitchen is a hidden source of the toxins that are coming from uh, microplastics. Okay. Here's another safe cleaner, glass cleaner. Combine one part white vinegar with one part water in a spray bottle. Use newspaper or a lint-free cloth to wipe for streak-free shine. Thanks for the tip. What are other toxic household products? Third hidden source, other sources of plastic. Think about the amount of plastic cups that you have, or plastic plates, or plastic utensils, or styrofoam. These are really kind of like the bread and butter of convenience culture in the kitchen. They're inexpensive. You go to a party, you can entertain with them. It all goes into the trash. So good in terms of a convenience so bad when it comes to your health, all right? Now, ultra-processed foods, another, uh, the packaging, another source of, of plastics. In fact, many of these plastic packaging contain BPAs, that's bisphenol A, all right? Uh, there's 30 to 40 different kinds of these harmful, poisonous plastic, they all get shed um, into uh, our food. Think about that um, uh, frozen uh, food, that's got a little plastic thing that you poke with the fork and stick it into the microwave. What do you think that plastic's uh, gonna be shedding? Microplastics into your food. So again, lots of hidden toxins will have associated with microplastics. So what's the solution? Well, avoid uh, packaged foods with plastic on them, all right? Just know that they're gonna be laden with all these microplastics and shed them in. Uh, and rather than using uh, plastic plates and plastic silverware, uh, plastic cups, get paper cups, paper plates, or for utensils, swap out the plastics for wooden spoons. Uh, that might be actually a much better way uh, to be able to uh, uh, avoid those hidden toxins and better for the environment as well. Wood furniture polish. Mix one fourth cup of olive oil with four tablespoons of white vinegar or lemon juice. Apply a small amount to a cloth and polish wood surfaces. Thanks for the tip. Can someone call Dr. Lee for another toxic household product? I'm calling Dr. Lee. Another source of hidden uh, toxins is your kitchen sink sponge. All right. Now, this is actually kind of a crazy thing, but we're using the sponge to clean our plates, right? Well, studies have shown that sponges can contain 362 types of bacteria that, you know, the sponge is used to, for the plate. It sits there wet, perfect uh, environment for bacteria to grow. We don't wash the sponge. We actually wash, use a sponge to wash everything else. It just sits there festering and growing like a Petri dish. All right. And, uh, and, and, and how many bacteria can grow? 362 types of bacteria, uh, 46 billion bacteria per square centimeter of your sponge. All right. So what's a better choice? Well, you could actually throw out your sponge, you know, uh, every, after every use or after every couple of uses, perhaps, not very economically efficient, all right, an expensive way uh, to clean your dishes, or you can actually use a brush, all right? Brushes have been studied and they've been shown to harbor less bacteria than a sponge. A sponge like the perfect Petri dish. Brushes are a little bit better, although they also grow bacteria as well. What you wanna do if you use a brush is to wash, after you use a brush to clean, you wanna clean your brush, okay? Uh, wash your brush after each use, uh, use hot water, use some soap on the brush, and that'll keep the bacteria down. All right. That makes you want to toss out your sponges. Here's another non-toxic cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner. 
Sprinkle baking soda into the toilet bowl, add vinegar, and scrub with a toilet brush. Let sit for a few minutes before flushing. Thanks for the tip. Do you smell that? What about another hidden source of uh, toxins? Well, soaps and detergents that contain fragrance. You know, the, uh, the, the hand soap uh, that actually smells nice, makes your hand smell nice. You know, it could be lavender, it could be citrus, whatever it is. It turns out that flavoring, these fragrances contain phthalates. That's spelled P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S, phthalates. And the phthalates have been shown to disrupt our gut microbiome. They actually turn our healthy gut into an unhealthy gut. An unhealthy gut means that your inflammation goes up. It actually can damage your mood because the gut bacteria talking to your brain sends uh, cross signals uh, and uh, lots of other things that your gut bacteria are doing can be disrupted by phthalates found in the uh, scents, the fragrances found in uh, detergents and in soaps, okay? So, by the way, where else do you find them besides soaps and detergents? You see them in air freshener, you find them in cleaning products. Those are all phthalates. So what's the solution? Go for the non-toxic, it should be labeled non-toxic, phthalate-free, look at the ingredient label, look for phthalate-free, no fragrance cleaning products are a much better choice and avoid air fresheners. Maybe it wasn't the fragrance. Maybe she just smells like a burrito. Another way to create a more pleasant smell is to create your own air freshener. Combine water with a few drops of your favorite essential oil in a spray bottle. Thanks for the tip. Dr. Lee will now tell us about the final toxic household product. And we'll also give our final natural cleaning product formula. Right. One last a uh, hidden source of toxins is old expired food, right? Now, nobody likes to waste food. We all have leftovers. We keep them in the fridge. Uh, many of us don't purge our refrigerator on a regular basis. So the back of the fridge, you wind up having a lot of food that's been sitting there a long time. Or you actually have food that's been expired and you haven't checked the date. All right, here's the thing. When you have old food, bacteria can grow in it. When you have expired food, exp expiration dates are talking about the quality of the food, but eventually uh, they can actually grow bacteria as well. Bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, listeria. These are the bacteria that cause food poisoning. Now, why do bacteria cause food poisoning? Well, the bacteria release toxins into your food. That's what food poisoning is. You're actually being poisoned by the toxins released by the bacteria that you don't want to be growing in there, okay? We're not talking about fermentation. We're actually talking about uh, the growth of harmful pathogenic disease-causing bacteria. They release endotoxins and other types of toxins that poison our system. How do we know it poisons our system? Well, guess what? It causes nausea, vomiting, cramping, diarrhea. It can fever, sweating. It can even affect your brain and make you confused, all right? Um, uh, and with all that... Uh, 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 diarrhea, you get dehydrated, okay? This is why you want to actually be very careful that you're not actually keeping old, uh, uh, moldy foods, expired foods, uh, uh, and um, you're eating uh, fresh. And so don't cook so much. Cook for a day or two. You don't want to actually keep the food around for too long so that bacteria will release toxins into your food. For cleaning tile and grout, Make a paste using baking soda and water. Apply to grout lines, scrub with a brush, and rinse. They're your tips. Tips. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.